What if Russia annexes Belarus in 2023? Firstly, this would change the entire course of the Ukraine war as Russia could freely use all this land against Ukraine. No, that wouldn't happen because Belarus has given Russian troops freedom of movement throughout their territory. So, Russia can attack through that route anyway. And they did, last year. Secondly, this would mean that Russia would now share a long border with Poland, which could mean a really bad news for the Poles. No, Russia can't attack Poland because that would trigger a war with NATO. However, Russian troops already have freedom of movement throughout Belarus. And so they could attack Poland anyway, so long as they're okay with fighting all of NATO. Moreover, it's possible that Russia might try to invade Lithuania to connect itself to its exclave of Kaliningrad. No, again, they could do that, and it would trigger a war with NATO because Lithuania is in NATO. So what would happen if Belarus became a part of Russia? Well, I think it would be bad for Russia. Russia could use tax money from Belarus to fund the war in Ukraine, or conscript people from Belarus to fight there. But once people found out where those conscripts and money were going, there'd be riots in the streets and possibly a full-on revolution. Then, the Russians would have to fight two wars at the same time. And two front wars rarely end well. Napoleon, the German Empire, and Hitler met their end this way. And I don't think that this would bring Putin to an end, but I do think that if Russia hasn't beat Ukraine after more than a year of fighting, then they sure as hell aren't going to win when they have to keep massive resources in Belarus to put down a rebellion. That is, a rebellion that is possibly getting funded by Ukraine or NATO. Then the other thing to consider is, what if this does escalate? What if Russia does end up at war with all of NATO? Well, they spent more than a year in Ukraine and they haven't beaten them, so there's no way Russia could beat the 31 countries of NATO while maintaining our war in Ukraine. They would have to defend this massive border, stretching their resources way too thin. Russia's only hope of winning this war would be to sign a peace treaty with Ukraine, giving back Crimea and all the other land they took from Ukraine. In exchange, NATO can't use Ukraine as a path to invade Russia, and Russia doesn't have to keep troops in Ukraine, being able to concentrate its forces against NATO forces. Suddenly, Russia's front that it has to defend has gone from this to this, a massive benefit to Russia. However, if Belarus was a part of Russia, then the line that Russia has to defend goes from this to this. And maybe even this if Russia doesn't get that peace treaty with Ukraine. That's why if a war with NATO happens, it's better for Russia if Belarus stays neutral. Because Russia's only hope would be to keep that front line as short as possible and bottleneck the Allies in, as their armies attempt to take St. Petersburg and make a drive towards Moscow. Now, like this video, or I'll tell the new Lingo birds, you missed your Spanish lesson. Bye.